For years, you've been sitting in the stands, watching those shiny championship trophies go to some of the best esports teams from around the world. But this year, being a casual spectator is no longer good enough. You want more. You've always envisioned yourself under the bright lights, on the Jumbotron demolishing your opponents in League of Legends, CS, GO, or others. However, you don't just want to be a pro gamer on any professional esports team. In fact, you have bigger aspirations. You want to form your own esports squad, filled with some of the most elite gamers that you handpicked yourself. But, you've always been hesitant to start your own esports team because you don't even know where to begin. Many of the top teams, and players, that you see today all started in a similar position as you. Wondering how they could make their esports dreams come true. Luckily for you, in this video, we will give you the playbook on how to start an esports team. But first, help support our channel, by hitting the like button, and subscribing to receive updates on future videos. Number 1, choose one game to begin with. When starting an esports team, you don't want to attempt to form several teams for multiple games in the beginning. Having numerous teams means you'll have less time to spend on managing and focusing on each one, which will lessen the quality of the team. Number 2, establish your team branding. Team branding is an essential part of creating your esports team. Having a great name and logo will build awareness of your team and help create brand equity. Number 3, find potential team members. Going to local gaming events or gaming centers is an effective way to get the word out that you are recruiting for spots on your squad. Online postings in forums and social media are a good start, but nothing will ever beat face-to-face -face recruiting. Number 4, select players for your team. If you get a massive response from local gamers who'd like to join your team, it probably will make sense to hold tryouts. This will allow you to see how each interested gamer performs in a competitive scenario, and will give you the chance to hand-pick the exact players that you would like for your team. Number 5, invest in your team's gaming hardware infrastructure. To compete with some of the best teams around the world, you may want to consider upgrading your gaming hardware. At the very least, this will include a decent gaming computer or console, a gaming monitor, gaming mouse, and a gaming keyboard. It also includes other helpful accessories like quality gaming chairs, gaming headsets, and more. Number 6, select a dedicated team meeting location. Setting up in-person meetings for the team is an essential part of managing your esports team. Seeing each other face to face is arguably the best way to build team camaraderie. This location should ideally be a place where the team can practice, compete, and hang out. Number 7, rent a team game server. Nothing can produce more inconsistent and sloppy gameplay faster than server lag. Many of the best teams in the world rarely deal with server lag in their practice environments, because they have upgraded to a dedicated game server. Number 8, create your esports website. Believe it or not, an esports team website is one of your most valuable brand assets. By far, one of the biggest mistakes esports teams and players make in the beginning, is building the brand solely on third-party streaming, and social media platforms. What happens if a site decides to suspend or ban your account? All the work your team has put in to grow a following, will have been lost almost overnight. Keep in mind, your followers are considered a brand asset, so in order to protect that asset, you should strongly consider having your own esports team website. Check out the information below this video to learn more about esports websites. Number 9, Secure Esports Sponsorships. Once your team starts to compete at a relatively high level, and build up a decent-sized fanbase, sponsorships can be a helpful way to increase revenue and exposure for your team. Number 10, Find an Esports Agent. When starting to secure sponsorships, you may also want to consider getting an agent. A good esports agent can help your team navigate the murky waters of contract negotiations, and open up new doors of opportunity through industry contacts. There's a ton more to this story, and this video merely scratches the surface of what it takes to start a team. Check out the information below this video, to find a full breakdown of everything you need to know about starting an esports team, plus bonus tips.